Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some World of Warcraft. Welcome to week five of my playthrough of World of Warcraft, creating a new character. And welcome also to the Warlords of Draenor. So we have left Mists of Pandaria and we have become level 97. Uh, I already did a playtime here, but you can see that I've been playing now for four days and nine hours in the first five weeks. So a bit over 110 hours something like that a little bit more maybe even than that my math isn't so good right now uh but um yeah at this point level 97 and i think i'm ready to give you guys a little bit more information on the progress and how easy or difficult it is and i must say warlords of draenor even easier than mists of pandaria so i am seeing some of the problems that you encounter uh with um don't I have the mission window here somewhere uh, that you'll encounter with uh, this expansion? Um, there is, for instance, let's see if I can do that from here. Uh, the garrison. At first, I can see how it's fun. And then I can also see how uh, a couple months in this gets very, very tedious very quickly. So do I get back? No, actually, I want to show you guys the reason Things are going so quickly over here in Warlords of Draenor. It's stuff like this. Kuro's Claim, an extra quest that gives me 73,000 XP, which is like 10% of a level or even more than that. And uh, these are dotted around the maps here in Warlords of Draenor. So that is definitely a big plus that speeds you up. And uh, I feel like you can make more progress more quickly in Warlords of Draenor than you could uh, in uh, Mists of Pandaria. So we're going to head over there and we're going to do that quest in the meantime. Also a little bit more information, of course. The one thing that I think you have to do is to go for the heirloom weapon. Uh, that does improve your uh, efficiency by quite a lot. But other than that, that's really the only purchase that I've done. And here we go. We arrive in the area and we have to kill eight Goran and grab six oh no and slay six iridium geodes so on top of that these guys are fighting with the npcs so that's pretty damn easy we can just uh take him out from afar if they attack me i set up my my pet which uh pretty cool hippopotamus uh i like him with the tail swipe not as tanky as the turtle but definitely pretty good and uh yeah just do this and get let's see if that's that's not all right iridium let's see if this one counts as well Do that again okay and what is this oh, it's already dead yeah and this counts as a goran that has been slain let's see if we can if we can find that's probably inside the cave in order to grab the geodes or something like that even the small guys count so that's half the quest done. One big disadvantage, something that will probably slow you down a little bit, is that you don't have flying mounts right off the bat. In fact, I don't really know how you um, you grab that. And I don't even think I'm, I'll get to that point either. So let's see if... Uh, well, he helps. That's cool. Uh, if players are around, you speed up as well. Because, of course, all of this progress helps to... Um, to your towards your progress and i must say this is definitely pretty cool uh in the sense that uh this helps you with your efficiency uh quite a lot so this guy goes down much more quickly than normally let's see if we can grab hmm, so those geodes they fly around there but we've got lots of these guys around as well so you want to do this as efficiently as possible of course oh he's targeting that let's uh do the same Let's also misdirect on my pets. So now we can uh, have that guy go after my pets, please. Okay, bit of AoE. And he's down. Which puts me at 7 and 3 out of 6. And I I'm seeing... I think that's another... Is that a geode or not? 140k XP. You can also see, this is something that I'm noticing here as well. The numbers go up very quickly in Warlords of Draenor. Um, that is, is definitely uh, a big change. Mist of Pandaria felt like it was a pretty smooth progression. And one of the reasons is you actually get... Let's see if I can find any of them or have they already been replaced. You actually get like 
this stuff like this legendary items just from from doing regular questing so yeah this is going to be uh, pretty smooth i think in order to uh, to get to level 90 and be able to start on legion one thing that i had to uh, look for a little bit let's see if i can ooh, that's perfect um was how to get to the next zone let me show that to you guys in a moment after we finish this guy off like that that's four out of six two more to go um if i go for the draenor map shadow moon valley that's basically where you start uh, introductory story lots of xp do the garrison quest lots of xp run the quests here lots of xp as well pretty cool story too uh but then to go to another zone um basically have to look a little bit it's just a flight path from your garrison so it's actually really accessible uh, you just have to know what to look for i didn't get like a quest escalation to go to another zone or anything like that here's another geodes so you just need two more of these that should definitely be doable and then maybe one of Ooh, he's gonna aggress yeah no doubt about it anything on the way back not that i can see so we'll take our time and i should really also of course use my aim shot from time to time there we go and then this guy at the back there that's a good target i think let's see if we can sneak him in yeah one of those small pet things comes in let's see if i can misdirect And there we go. Look at that. 73,000 XP uh, in just 7 minutes. And that's like 2 bars. 2 full bars uh, of XP just like that. So that is pretty crazy. Uh, these are pretty impressive numbers. And uh, that's the experience here so far. I haven't had to do all that much. Um, just, you know, do the questing. I'm, I'm not doing dungeons at the moment either. Uh, it's basically still very busy at my work. And uh, I feel like uh, the energy that I have to spare uh, is best spent on the questing here. I do want to get to 110, see how quickly I can do that and what there is to do up there. Uh, but other than that, whoops, oh, it doesn't aggress, so let's skip it. And then let's get out of here and look for maybe the next one, because it's, uh, it's definitely good progress. But if, if I can show you guys another one of these quests, it could be pretty interesting. And let's see what's up here. So there was another one, I think, back here. Oh, that's actually garrison related. Hmm. Iron shredder slains and grab 20 lumber. Okay, well, let's see if that's difficult. These quests, some of them have been decently challenging. Um, and I found that the rare mobs very nicely marked on, on, the, on the map now. They're always marked. Can't see one right now. But they are always marked with, uh, with a star. They're pretty tough as well, but you get, uh, sometimes you get like an extra garrison power as well, uh, which is basically what you want off cooldown for those rare mobs. And then I've been able to do pretty much all of them in, in Shadow Moon Valley as well. And the Hunter is still fun, absolutely perfect um, solo player uh, class if you want to make good progress, be able to handle most of the content by yourself. Definitely um, Hunter, there you go, that's what I want to show, Underseer Blood Main is hmm. maybe we'd have to do some climbing well maybe we'll go look let's see if we can handle that get rid of this guy like that the rares gives you something that i'm i don't really know exactly what it is or how it works some sort of toys still need to definitely learn what that's all about and oh i think she just died is that what just happened Let's, uh, let's see. Probably in here. That's already a corpse. Oh, no, it's in here. Let's see. Underseer is level 99 uh, and I'm 97. So that's going to be decently challenging. But let's see if we can do it. Send in the pet. Uh, then I'll start with some misdirection as well. Just so that we can keep that up. Uh, and also do some AoE when we want to. Um, all right, it's quite a lot of damage. Let's use this. Get 
And I just have to keep one. Oh, goddammit. He's already coming after me. Okay, he just died. That's good. He yells no. Does look like he's probably enraging a little bit. So let's keep going. Another one of these. Okay. I do need to get him like to like the last third or something like that. Ooh, my pet's down to 34k. Keeping a close eye on that. 20k. Okay. Time to heal him up. <laughs> a full free life. That is really uh, what's pretty awesome about, um, about the hunter, of course. That you can do stuff like that. Uh, let's maybe also do an aimed shot so that I can try to refresh some of my other... Oh, there we go. That's what I need. He's down to 200k, but he's doing lots of damage. Another aim shot in there for a decent amount of damage. Ooh, my pet won't survive. Okay. Preemptive one of these. Just to delay that a little bit. Alright, let's see if we can do some guiding action. Avoid some of that damage. Yeah, there we go. And blop. That is done, and we get... Hmm, let's see if that's any better. So you always get like a special rare from these guys. We can press shift. Uh, it's definitely not better in agility. Um, but here I think that this again shows the strength of the hunter class. Having a good tanking pet would have been even easier if I had used my turtle pet. Because that one actually has like a special little shield that, uh, that delays uh, the damage further as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely, I am enjoying this experience. Uh, it is definitely more of a, of a solo player uh, centered experience, uh, playing with the hunter, uh, but I do enjoy that. And here we go, bonus objective, shredders and lumber as a fluttering moth comes in. Heal up. All right, attacking my river beasts, so that's okay. And then let's see if we can spot them. So, again, clearly shown on the um, on the minimap up there. That's the area where I have to look for shredders and gather some lumber. Let's see if that's easy to do. And let's see if there's lots of people running that. Well, 174k. And then, is that the lumber that's, yeah, that's showing up? Exactly. Okay, let's see how tough these guys are. Ooh, are they really immune to taunt? Is that what I saw? Ah, Alright, now they switched. So we might want to use the misdirect on that. But that is not too difficult to handle. And now let's see how much we get from this. One lumber. So you do have to go after 20 of those. A little bit of work, but for 10% of a level... I think that uh, that it's absolutely worth it, of course. And yeah, they don't. They don't really go for the pet on this one. Interesting. He's gonna shred me as well. Let's heal up a little bit. Next one down. And then let's see here. Plenty of lumber up there. What are these guys? Hmm, Crumbs dead eye. Okay. Let's see. Okay, do the taunt. Because I don't want to keep tanking all of this. Nope, look at that. He's just ignoring the taunt. Okay, actually the first time that I encountered that. Usually my pet can do the tanking on this specific mob. Doesn't work. And there we go. This one actually yields me more lumber. Yeah, up to three lumber. Which is going to, again, speed up our progress quite nicely. In fact, I'm just going to quickly finish off this quest. Ooh, a little orc patrol there. Let's see if we can handle two of them. Uh, maybe on a misdirect first. Misdirecting, misdirecting. Going like that. Engage. AoE. All I can. Let's see if it works. Oh, they switch. They switch. They don't like it. Interesting. We still have the heal. That one is down. That one is down. <laughs> and we are up and running. Leaving just one more. Which is going to be... Mm, let's see if we can avoid 
the orcs a little bit. That's unfortunately only one lumber. Ooh, what the hell are you? Let's take a look at them. Sometimes <laughs> this almost doesn't look fantasy-like to me. That's uh, almost a sci-fi getup that this dead eye is, uh, is carrying. But let's finish off the final shredder. Again, using the misdirect. It's something that I'll have to learn, especially if I want to do dungeons and things like that. So, good practice. Kill the shredder. Let's see. Yep, he's, she's taunted. That's good. Finish this one off. Warsong Overseer. Oh, you're doing good damage to my pet, but my pet always has a second life, which is really cool. Um, and uh, that combined with this feign death, it really gets you out of 99% of the problems. It's on a very rare occasion that I've actually died uh, on this hunter. And there you go, guys. That's it for, for this video. A little bit of an update. Level 97 will be level 100 pretty soon. Then we'll take a look at Legion. Because I don't want to spend too much time here in Warlords of Draenor, to be honest. Um, I feel like, you know, spending lots of time in the garrisons really doesn't make too much sense at this point. So, uh, I, I did go up to level 92 in Mids of Pandaria. Um, so, just to give you guys that perspective. Um, I did... Uh, go over the normal level 90 limit for Mist of Pandaria just because it was so much fun and good progress and uh, that means that we can get to level uh, 100 pretty easily from Warlords of Draenor probably on two maps, two areas or something like that. And that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.